Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first six commandments, and now it's time for the seventh, Thou shalt not steal. We've discussed what it means to steal and how possessions are supposed to work according to the will of God. This week, can we violate the seventh commandment by misusing our own property? On one level, we clearly can. For example, if I use my lockpick to break into someone's house and rob them, that violates the seventh commandment through a misuse of my goods. But I'm talking about situations where you don't actually take anything from anyone else. Even with respect to that, the Catechism has something to say. In his use of things, man should regard the external goods he legitimately owns not merely as exclusive to himself, but common to others also, in the sense that they can benefit others as well as himself. The ownership of any property makes its holder a steward of providence, with the task of making it fruitful and communicating its benefits to others, first of all his family. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2404. I've quoted at least part of this before, but in this we can see that apart from just not taking things from people, we also have an obligation to use our goods well, to make them fruitful to the best of our ability, and to benefit others with them, especially our family members. Now the hard question. Is it a sin to not use our possessions in the best possible way? No, it's not. We've talked about wastefulness already, and how that can be a problem, but even that is probably not a grave sin, and even if it were, we wouldn't necessarily be obligated to use our goods in the best possible way, because that would involve being able to always tell what the best possible way is, and we can't always tell that. Certainly, if we can't do something, we're also not obligated to do that thing. Our responsibility to our fellow man is very great and very real, but it doesn't require us to know and do things that we can't possibly know or do. Next time, what about forms of government that deny the right to private property? Is it moral to support them? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.